back again for the next part of the gatefold album I haven't actually finished this page yet but um, I'm not doing the following page from this one I am doing the last page let's open this up and get this out of the way right so what this page is going to be and obviously I've done this one and this one will be just a mirror image of it so on the final page this that's open has a pocket here I don't know what I'm doing on the front I think it just might be a plain photo mat this flaps up the two photos this flaps this is held on with a magnet and flaps down the two photos but this is actually one large photo mat in a pocket so quite a simple page the magnet is held in here in the actual tag so quite a simple page because I didn't want it to be too bulky as we are very fast running out of space on this so we start off with a sheet of paper which will be let's get this right um, six make it six and a quarter six and a quarter yeah six and a quarter by now this is the full width of a uh, a four piece of paper right and what I've done is if I can if I show you now, uh, move this out of here for a second. There. Right, this was here. Okay, so what I've done with this page, obviously I've cut my decorative edge, but that, I did that after I scored it. So you score it at uh, one inch. This is from the short side. You score it at one inch then you score it at five and five eighths of an inch so you've got the four and five eighths of an inch there and you score that right the way down you then turn it be like that, and score it at seven inches so this smaller flap will be a pocket so if you want a decorative edge put that in now then what you have to do is you oh dear that's right this was here right what you do is you then on the smaller side the left over from the seven inches so seven eight it's about it's about four and a half four and three quarter inches this bit <coughs> you mitre in you you fold the task back you mitre in the flaps on each side and then you cut this whole section off just this bit here so on the five and five eighths inch side at uh, the seven inch side on the seven inch side you cut this bit off entirely from the score line that little flap comes off so you're left with just the flap on the shorter side on this side which you have the long the, the wider flap you just mitre it in gently you don't want to you don't want a really steep mitre you just want a gentle mitre and you mitre in the flap that's left here you then put it back on the scoreboard and do another score line away so towards the flap edge on the one inch flap here so on this side on the left hand side you score an eighth of an inch again away from the previous score line so you've got a little bit of a um a little a little gusset a one eighth a one eighth of an inch gusset 
Okay, I hope I explained that. Okay, so I've got gold everywhere. Um, because what this is going to be is this wrap here. Now, if you wanted to, if it's easier, you can just cut out uh, seven by five and five eighths of an inch, score it four and four eighths of an inch, and four and five eighths of an inch, and then make the pocket separately. But I like to keep it all in one because it, it's less bulk. So, if you want your decorative, de decorative edge, <laughs> cut that like this, it folds up to make the pocket. So you've got the little gusset in the pocket, and that bit folds in. Gosh, I hope that was okay. Right, so I'm just going to glue this pocket down to the base. I'm a bit doolally today. Um, <laughs> I've got up this morning. I suffer from um, blackouts and seizures. And I woke up this morning and I don't remember much then until about three o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and, and my brain's always a bit fuzzy afterwards for a while. So. I'll, I'll try and explain things as well as I can. I'll try not to make too many mistakes. But hey, this is me. You know I'm going to make mistakes. Okay. Right, and what I want to do is make sure that's well scored on the one inch and then back onto the eighth of an inch as well. Score line, so that's Okay, now this then has to go on first, and this is going, I say, the back page, facing upwards, and it's going on the far left of that right-hand side page. So let's get some tape on here. my little bit of sticky tape edge there. Get some glue over that. And then making sure that you stick it down so that you have the gusset standing proud of the book, the page. Make sure that's straight. So then have a flap that opens up to a pocket. Okay, next. Move this out of the way for a second. Right, next, you need a piece that is seven inches by four and five eighths. And you get your scoreboard and you want to uh, score this at three and a half inches on the seven inch side, turn it round to the five and five eighths of an inch, score it half an inch on the side, turn it round and score it half an inch again. So you've got a half inch gap each side. That's that bit. So I'm hoping everything doesn't fall off. I'm balancing everything on the chair. Right, you may need a knife again. And I am going to remove on the score line, the half inch score line at the side. Sorry, getting my head in the way. 
and I haven't done my hair today. Right, so this half inch flap on one side up to the three and a half inch score line, you want to just cut that off. And the same on the other side of that same score line. Half an inch. And take that off. So you are then left. Oh, I didn't cut that very well, did I? <laughs> With a nice straight edge. line so you've got the, the flap here and this side has got the half inch tabs on the side and I'm going to put some sticky tape on that ready if I can find my tape there it is realize if you can hear arguing in the background it's not in the house it's the Jeremy Kyle show playing in the other room <laughs> okay so you want to fold those flaps down like that they're facing on the bottom. Next you want a piece that's uh, four and five eighths wide and uh, four inches high. So it's four and five eighths by four inches and you score it on the four inch side at half an inch. So you've got, when you fold that back, you'll have a Four and five eighths by three and a half inch uh, flap. Then you put tape onto this flap here. Oh, I didn't do that very well. With my skinny score tape. Because you want this not over the score line, but up to the score line. to your edges. Okay. Right, and you want this to be really well scored and burnished. Okay, right, so the flaps are closest to me. I'm going to make sure I'm going to, the top flap I'm going to flap down just for a second. Make sure it's all right. Take off my tape backing, take off my tape backing on this little flap here. goes right up to the score line. You want to make it nice and even there. So 
So you want to line it up along this bottom bit so it's nice and even. And give that a really good rub down. Right. Next. <laughs> My next. <coughs> Where's my magnet? Right. I'm using three quarters of a mil deep magnets because um, the cardstock I'm using is, is actually card. It's not paper it's card so the magnet's got to be strong enough to hold through two layers of card so two magnets <laughs> sided tape right so the flat bits down here with oh, that was clever of me this flap here and this top flap, you want to put the magnet somewhere around there. Right. So a little bit of ink will sort that out and make it look a bit more presentable. That's better. Right. So we've got. Your base card with the flaps, this bit in the middle, and the magnet on that side. <clears throat> okay, back to the book. Open up the flap that you just put on. Apply a bit of tape to the bottom. Okay, so I've got the flaps and the magnet all folding a bit at the bottom there. Take off my tape backing, apply some glue. Flap is up there, up here, and this should fill this space perfectly. And because you've got that gusset on that side, that will close with no problems. So, got the flap here, flap here. And then this is stuck down. I'm not happy about that. That's gone a bit. Oh, no, 
okay. Yeah, that should be okay. Right, next, you want to make a you want to cut out a piece that is four and nine sixteenths or four and a half. Basically it's got to fit snugly into this pocket that you've just made and it will be snug. You want to cut it by about six and three quarters. Oops, that hasn't stuck down. Stick down. And right. So when you've got it in, line it up so that this flap with the magnet completely covers that. So it's all lined up to the top of the page, all nice and even. Like that. Sorry, heading the way again. Get some sticky tape on the back of this second magnet. in those edges of the sticky tape. I'm so sorry I keep getting my head in the way. Okay, make sure it's still lined up. And press that down. And hopefully <laughs> hopefully you won't get that. The sticky tape's not gone over. Okay. Do that again. Sticky tape. my sticky tape a little bit. There we go. Make sure it's lined up. There we go. So you've got the magnet each side. Now the way I've decorated this side is I've done the inverted corner edges here and at the bottom but not in the middle so that it looks like one photo mat with obviously the fold in the middle and that's so that it will match this side because obviously you can't have or well, you could have that way but it's easier to do it this way and I think it looks neater and if you wanted to use decorative papers then use decorative papers and that's fine so then it's just a matter of matting the bits and pieces. These papers, I don't know where this one came from. I think this one it might have come from the. They come from the. Oh, uh, the first edition papers are called Jingle All the Way. Yeah, these are the first edition papers, Jingle All the Way. Um, because I, d I didn't need it to be a thinner cardstock. Uh, because of, obviously I'm not having a magnet on here because I don't want it to interfere with the magnet that's holding on this uh, flat down. So yeah, these are from the Jingle All The Way. This is the one with the, it's red on the back with fur cones. So I'm going to 
mat all of my uh, bits and pieces here you'll need obviously three of the half size ones because you'll need one for this side and then one each for there one of the large ones for the pocket I appear to have lost one of these Uh, yeah, full size one for the pocket. Make sure you do measure it up. Uh, obviously not the full size of the page because this is slightly shorter because you've got to allow for the uh, the glue at the bottom of the pocket. And then here, and um, then what I'll do is I'll make all the the rest of the mats. I will also mat do the mats for the previous page we did because I still haven't done the mats for that. And then I'll be back to show you what this one looks like all matted up so back in a mo okay this page is finished um this is just plain cardstock and i've used it's a groovy punch this one to make some photo corners and then just put the black cardstock into uh, as a template for the size of the photograph belly band here with this is actually cut out from one of the Jingle all the way sheets and a plain mat here. So that's that one all done. And this one obviously is exactly the same. So that's that one done. I haven't done the mats for the other page and now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do here. When I do that, I obviously will be back. <laughs> so until next time, bye for now.